G'day mates, I hope you're all well. <sighs> Alright, so normally, guys, I would have put this video up on my second channel where I've begun putting up rant videos, but given the problems at the moment focus on this channel, I wanted to put it here. Before we go on though, I just want to be clear. This video is not about fair use and copyright per se. If you don't understand what copyright and fair use are and how it works here on YouTube, please go and watch YourMovieSucks.org's video on the subject. No, really, go and watch it now. Because today, I want to talk to you guys about the unjust and fucking inhumane bullshit that is called the YouTube copyright system. Now, I know it's not the best idea to shit on the hand that feeds you, but today, I'm taking a big fat dump on the master hand that is known as YouTube. Don't misunderstand me here. I love YouTube and the countless hours of entertainment I've acquired through its platform, along with the amazing freedom of expression and speech, is something I value dearly. And there are a lot of great things about YouTube, but not all is well in the land. And I'm here today to try and spark a discussion on a current tyrannical system that oppresses and has become the thorn in the side of many content creators. This thorn is known as the YouTube copyright system. So let me just quickly run you through what typically happens when someone files a copyright strike to give you an understanding of a typical copyright claim. Let's say I find one of my videos that has been uploaded on another channel, which happens all the time because YouTube's shitty system does not actually get rid of the overwhelming numbers of copycat channels. I then go through the YouTube copyright filing process, which takes you through a series of questions, which looks something like the following. Do you really believe this copyright claim is valid? No, really. Really? Such a rigorous and foolproof questionnaire where you tick a few boxes like one of those meaningless endless disclaimer pages so helpfully provided in tiny print you can only read if you're a blue smurf with an electronic microscope. You would think that this would deter people, right? I mean, come on now. No bitter, ignorant or trollific person would ever just be a bastard and abuse such a system, right? And surely, if one belligerent shithead slips through the proverbial crack that is YouTube, something like this should be sorted out quickly by contacting YouTube, right? Well, you could be forgiven for such thoughts given YouTube's ever-pervasive message of warmth and support for the content creators. But you're fucking wrong. Instead, what has happened to me and many other YouTubers consists of the following. After receiving a copyright strike notification, one is banished to the shadows of YouTube felony where all of the other naughty little boys and girls reside. In this cruel land of misconduct, one is exposed to the raw elements of YouTube's punishments, where one is stripped of certain privileges, such as the right to post videos longer than 15 minutes, or the ability to place cards and notifications on one's own video. And without even one word of defense, the content creator is lynched before the almighty system that is YouTube's robotic system, and as a result, has their channel, in many cases, crippled. This copyright oppression continues up until YouTube is satisfied that the person's video is in fact covered by fair use, which in most cases means waiting 10 or more days for the claimant to file a lawsuit after you yourself filing a copyright counterclaim. Mind you, all of the while the claimant rubs their oily, conniving hands together while smirking as they peer with their beady little eyes, implementing a system designed to put all of the power in the hands of the aggressor. So then, what is a guy to do? Oh, I have an idea. I'll write to the person who filed the copyright strike in the first place, and I'll explain how they're wrong and how by holding my channel hostage to the YouTube copyright system, they're in violation of fair use, and therefore are acting out of ignorance. So then, after constructing a well-balanced piece of literature explaining how you understand that using somebody else's material can be seen as unjust, but that in fact you are well within your rights to do so because of fair use. And if the person would just allow you to freely implement your rights as per the law by retracting the copyright strike, that you could both benefit mutually by gaining further exposure to a wider audience for the transformative work you spent hours putting together. And that you're not only acting well within the parameters of the law, and this person is now acting illegally by holding your channel hostage, and that you also went out of the way to provide links to 
and even complement the other person's material within your video. So after all of this, you get the following response. Uh, who the fuck are you? This is my video, dickhead. I didn't give you permission. And you know what? I still don't give you permission. <laughs> after receiving this message, optimistically, you press on, a little confused as to how the person could have misunderstood your fair and mutually beneficial defense. And so, you ask this person if they actually read the letter. To which, you wake up the next morning to find that the message that you sent is now unviewable because who knows what the fuck happened to it. So, out of desperation and with the remaining composure you have left, you think to yourself, Aha! I'll contact YouTube and I'll ask a real person to look at my case. Surely, after another reasonable person looks at my defense, I can have my video reinstated quickly, and this whole charade, it can finally be over with. No harm, no folly, right? So, after once again spending countless hours constructing a well-compiled series of explanations as to how your video is protected by fair use as per the legislation found under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, 1976, how your video fits the determining factors of fair use, how you have provided empirical evidence showcasing examples of where another person's video has received positive attention, adding strong market value to the other person's material without compromising their earnings, and how yours and others' livelihood is put on hold due to YouTube's automated system, which punishes your channel unfairly due to somebody else's ignorance, bitterness, or troll tactics. And after two or three days, YouTube finally responds. Here is the moment where you'll finally be vindicated and the previous sleepless nights spent tossing and turning thinking about how you're going to feed your family and pay your bills will all finally vanish into the ether known as justice. This entire event will finally be over. And so, you open the mail, excited to be free and restored once again and... Yep. You receive another fucking automated response that consists of reiterating the process of copyright on YouTube. Like, I don't already fucking know that. If anything, you should be sending this shit to the ignorant dropkick who is abusing your system, not me. Mind you, all the while, dickhead reaction channels like Jinx have entire videos playing in the bottom corner of their screen while they sit there and react like, Duh. How the hell is that allowed and my video isn't? You know what? Fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you for providing weapons of mass destruction to ignorant and bitter copyright dictators like this. Fuck you for being so close to a true beacon of freedom of speech and expression and yet allowing something like this to exist, which you clearly have the capacity to change. Don't get me wrong. I and many others are grateful for you stepping up to defend some cases of fair use here on YouTube. But guys, we smaller channels need your support too. We aren't fucking PewDiePie, and we don't have the finances or the clout to fight back against this shit with an expensive team of professionals. Instead, we remain subject to signing up with shitty networks in the hope that they might, I repeat, might, maybe, probably not, be able to provide the insurance we require to protect our livelihoods from all of this shit. All the while, ignorant, bitter people like the one I'm now facing continue on their merry way, never giving a second thought to the damage they're doing to that person and possibly their family. And you know what? The funny thing is, I don't even blame this guy. This guy is just using the tools YouTube has given him to defend what he perceives are his rights. This guy is only doing what we would all do in the same situation. The problem is, is that the system is stacked against the content creator, who is punished and remains guilty until proven innocent. I am crippled to only provide videos smaller than 15 minutes, and I can't continue on with my videos as I normally would. And now, I have the spurious title of a copyright infringer, like I'm participating in an illegal activity or some shit. Yep, that just looks fucking awesome to everyone who views it, right? And all when I was just beginning to gain some momentum here on YouTube. And now I have to wait for at a minimum of 10 days for this shit to get sorted. 10 fucking days. Well, you know what? Take your fucking Smurf text along with the dump that I just took in your hand and look closely at this shit, YouTube. 
Because one day, the community may just wake up to all of this and call you out on it. And by then, you may not just have me sending you emails and making videos such as this. Maybe then, you'll have an avalanche of bee busters fighting for an equitable system. 